Hello, I'm Lindsay Silverman. I'm with Nikon. I'm a senior technical manager. I'm here at PMA 2008 with a really new, exciting Nikon DSLR called the D60. This is a brand new camera from us that's 10.2 megapixel resolution. Comes equipped with a brand new AFS 18 to 55 VR image stabilized lens and will sell approximately for $749.95 at the retailers. What makes D60 a truly exciting new camera for us is that it has a dual dust reduction system. Another really exciting aspect of D60 is the way that the performance features have been enhanced. For instance, looking at the LCD of the camera, there's an orientation sensor in D60, so when you turn the camera from vertical to horizontal, the information changes with you. And that happens both in the, the classic mode, which I'm in now, or if I switch to my digital vary programs, and it also happens in the, in the graphic mode as well. If you look at the back of D60, there is an eye sensor on the back of the camera. So as the photographer brings the camera to his or her eye to take a picture, that LCD will turn off, saving batteries, and also save the annoyance of having a bright LCD in your eye. And some of the things you can do are simple as converting a color image to black and white, cropping the image in camera, and, and reducing red eye. But now, for the first time, we build in an electronic, digital, cross-star filter effect. So you can create a four-point, or a six-point, or an eight-point cross-star filter to any small point light source. So you want to take your favorite pictures at holiday time, Christmas trees and bright lights behind you, you can now add the digital cross-star. Another really, really fun aspect, and I believe it's the first digital SLR in the world to have this feature, is the ability to shoot still images at the highest resolution and then string a hundred of those images together to make a stop motion movie in the camera. It creates a AVI file which can then be used on your computer for websites and all different places. You can shoot up to a hundred images. You can change the frame rate of the movie from three frames per second up to 15 frames per second. You can change the resolution of your movie from 640 by 480 all the way down. I just happened to be here in Las Vegas favorite things to do is to go to the Bellagio and right in front of the Bellagio is the most amazing display of fountains set to music. So what I've done is I've taken pictures of the Bellagio fountains as you can see here. I've strung it together with the stop motion movie effect and now when I press the OK button my stop motion animated movie will take place. It's a little 16 second movie that the beautiful fountains of the Bellagio are illustrated. This is one of those fun things to do but in addition to being truly fun and creative I'm going to show you a practical side to this if you happen to want to sell products on one of the various websites that sell products. Or if you have your own website and you have products and you want to illustrate what that product can do. I just happen to have a great new Coolpix camera on there and I just animated that so you can see it from every different angle. And that was at three frames per second. So not only is it a fun feature to use the stop motion movie, but it's also a really practical feature if you want to sell something or if you want to illustrate a product that you have. D60 also incorporates some high-end features from our new D300 and D3 introductions. We have an active delighting button on the top of the camera that you press prior to taking the picture. And if you have any dark areas within the picture, it brightens the shadows. It will keep the highlights where they are and it will correct 